Hi, it's Roger here with episode two of Entrepreneur TV. Uh, welcome to the second episode and thank you to everyone who put down your comments, your questions. I've kind of done my best to answer uh, everything that was posted. Uh, keep posting because we're gonna be taking Q and A's coming up as well. And if you are new to this channel, then follow this video here, subscribe, and make sure you first of all take the Millionaire Master Plan test, which will give you your personal genius, which is your natural path towards your success and also the wealth level you're at, because this is gonna be a personalized journey we're gonna go through um, every single week. So make sure you do that if you haven't done that yet. Make sure you subscribe and make sure that you watch that video. Now, on this video, number two, we are gonna go through two really important things. And I'm here on the east coast of Bali because I wanna show you something here as well, which kind of illustrates these two things really well. What's the first thing? First thing is something called your pre-flight checklist. It's like every pilot does this, even if they've been up a thousand times, they have a pre-flight checklist. In fact, the passengers would be really worried if the pilot wasn't actually following through on that checklist. And it's the same goes if you're you know, diving in the ocean, if you're climbing a mountain, if you don't actually follow a checklist, then you're missing the point that there's risks involved in everything. And especially if you're gonna go start a business, it's the same thing. You're gonna build your wealth, it's the same thing. You need to know what that checklist is. And to be honest, most of us don't even have one. Um, I still remember when I went skydiving for my first time and it was a tandem dive, which meant I was diving with someone else. And I was really nervous. And I, the guy was really killing around with me. He was about the same size as me. He was messing around when he was packing up his parachute. He knew I was watching. So he was like, kind of like, oh, look, putting it together. And then he's like, oh, I think this is the wrong way. Then he's like trying to roll it into the bag in a way that it wasn't gonna fit. Then he tried his second way. I was getting really nervous. So I kind of like said to him, uh, have, have you done a lot of these dives? And like real joker, he says, uh, yeah, they say after like, you know, a bunch more of these kind of like supervised dive with people like you, eventually I'll be allowed to go up on my own. <laughs> so it's like, okay, then, you know, if you are gonna go on any kind of a journey that involves any kind of risk, you wanna know the person that you are leading, who's leading the charge, it actually is really taking care on every step. And if you're gonna be the pilot on your journey, you need to make sure the same thing too. So what does your pre-flight checklist look like? Uh, go to geniusu.com, uh, which is on the link on this video. Uh, you already have a login if you've actually taken the test. Uh, you'll see there's missions in there, which are our learning journeys. Um, and one of the missions in there, which is the one you'll be recommending when you first go in, is the Millionaire Master Plan mission. And that has a download within like the second or third step uh, to your own uh, uh, specific pre-flight checklist. Uh, and what we're gonna do every single uh, week as we do these videos is we're gonna see that we're actually gonna be walking up this path all the way to how you get your business started, you know, how you build your income, how you do multiple businesses, how you get into investments, are all part of the same pre-flight checklist. And I still use the pre-flight checklist every single week to make sure I'm on track and I'm not missing the key things the higher up the mountain I go, right? So this is for you to use. And the very first step of it, as you'll see, is a checklist to see if you have a future vision, which is kind of like your destination if you're gonna take off, which is clear, specific, and inspires you. You know, can you imagine going to an airport and finding some guy, you know, kind of like sitting in a plane waiting to take off. And when you say, well, where are you going? He's like, well, that depends. Where do you want to go? Uh, and it's like, well, if I have enough other people going to the same place, maybe I'll go. You know, a lot of us, this is exactly what we do. We actually wait before we define our future on what shows up around us. Uh, future vision is about you not doing that anymore. It's about you actually saying, no, I'm actually going to be very specific about where I'm going. I can tell you three reasons why most people don't do this, right? Reason number one, they've lost hope. They've tried in the past, didn't work. They put some dream or some vision down, gave up on it, right? If you're in that state, you shouldn't be on this video. But if you're like, no, actually, I really do believe it is possible, but why have I given up on actually really being specific about my future? And it probably is just because as a habit, it hasn't been there, it hasn't happened. Maybe it has for you. You can go look at my little journal here of how I put my future visions together. Um, and there you can use it as an example for uh, like how I inspire myself into the future as you get ready to now put your future vision together. So number one, if you're thinking, well, I haven't done it because I haven't had the steps to know that if I set something up in the future, I can actually get there, know you're gonna get the steps in this video. That should be enough reason to go do it. Number two is some of us go, you know what? My friends don't do that. You know, the people around me, they're not out there kind of like, you know, kind of like, you know, setting a goal of exactly where they want to go or how they want to get there. So why should I do it? Well, your friends might not, the people around you might not. Some might, but I can guarantee every great leader in the world, they do. They all have a vision, they all have a dream. 
every great company in the world. Uh, the only reason it has any value is that the shareholders believe that it also has a future, that the vision has been painted out. So don't for a minute think that just because you may not have one or people around you may not have one, it isn't super important, right? Most people on the plane aren't the pilots, they're the passengers. You want to be the pilot though, you've got to know and have a map of where you want to go. And the third thing is your life depends on it. I mean, seriously, every one of us, our life today is 100% based on our own design. Doesn't mean it was a conscious design, right? You might have a life today where it's like, I'm earning this much money, I'm living in this place, I'm in this job, I didn't design all of that. Well, you made decisions along the way which made all those things happen. It doesn't mean there aren't unfortunate things that happen in life as well, because there are, but there are people who are less fortunate than you or me that have made more of their lives already. So it certainly isn't the baseline by which we actually decide if we're gonna get successful or not. So really important if you actually realize our lives depend on us, on it, on exactly where we're heading. The key to this is deciding, am I going to make it accidental or deliberate? And if you want to make it deliberate, it means you have to set your future vision. So how do you do it? Number one, get yourself some paper. Uh, if you go to the mission, you can see you can actually do it online as well. And it can store it there for you as well, right? That's like the very next step in there is setting up your future vision. Uh, when you actually go in there to set it up or when you actually write it down by just using this video to do it, the most important thing is using two powers. Okay, so what are these two powers? The first power is something called the power of hindsight, meaning it's easier to see the pathway when you're on the top of the hill looking down than at the bottom looking up. So hindsight is when you're actually imagining yourself in the future looking backwards instead of in the present looking forwards. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Second thing is gratitude. Instead of kind of like looking backwards and feeling proud or it's all because of you, you're looking back being thank you. It's not about you, it's about the fact that you experienced certain things and achieved certain things in the last year, which you're grateful for. So here's what you do. And I do this every year, by the way, and I do it always at the end of the year for the coming year. And we also do this as a team for all our businesses as well. Start with basically some space. Give yourself half an hour. If you wanna do it right now, you can get yourself ready and use this guide on this video at the moment to make it happen. You basically get yourself in a state where you're thinking one year down the line. You can do this every year and think that for one year, you can predict what could happen if it's up to you. You imagine what would be happening in your job, in your income, in your family, in your relationships, in your health, in your hobbies. You imagine all the things that could be happening where you say, that would be a big tick box that this last year has been a real success. Now you got that, you get that in your head. And then the key thing is to then say, Right, how do I write this down in such a way that I have gratitude? I'm gonna start with the words, I am so grateful for the last year. Because in the last year, what's happened? That's when you start just writing. In the last year, here's what's now happening specifically with my income. Here's what's happening in my business. Here's the, the experience my customers are having. Here's the size of team I have. Here's the reputation that I've built up. So what's going on in your business and you write that and just keep on writing as you're going through not just what's happening from a financial point of view but what's happening in your relationships in your health what's going on in your hobbies what's going on in your passions there's a whole list of every one of these things that you can go and see to prompt you along if you just go to genius you and take the mission for free and it, it, will, it will lead you through every one of those steps and by the way if you want a bit more prompting then you go take the link below for an extra little bonus which is something called the passion test which is uh, just like the genius test something you can take online we just launched it this month and it is in partnership with janet bray atwood and chris atwood who are the authors of the passion test so you can go take that it's in the link right now and then you can start actually making sure that you're aligning your life to your passions and that's the vision of your life in this next year to come you'll notice that in the pathway this is not just about kind of keeping the secret go to the people you love once you've written this so here's my future vision for our lives a year from now. And if you do that, you'll be blown away by how much they want to support you as well. And like I said, the whole point of this personalized path is for you to get to where you want to get to. It's not about just knowing where you are or who you are. It's about knowing where you want to go. And that's what this video is about, because then we can actually go through the steps to get there. So where am I right now? I've just taken you down to the black east coast uh, beach of Bali where we are about to see the sunset 
uh, and where there are people out surfing at the moment. So this is a surf beach, as you can see. And the reason I brought you out here is because I wanted to kind of just share a little story of someone who went through an experience just like the one that I'm asking you to go through right now, right here in Bali. And this is about a decade ago. Uh, his name is Nick Woodman. And you'll know his business, it's called GoPro. And he had a vision. He actually came out here because his business had failed. He'd lost all this money uh, with his business back in America. He said, right, I'm just gonna get, my, I'm gonna get to a whole new space. He came out surfing and he had a vision which he painted out of a business in the future which would have the ability to be able to make everyone a hero. He came up with this little idea of having a little camera, which then became a video camera, linked to your wrist, which now you can link to anything. Uh, it's for everyone to be their own hero. And now you see so many of those GoPro videos all around the world. When he started, he didn't just say, I'm gonna have a vision and then set up a plan and go out looking for financing. He started with a vision and then he took it step by step, just like you're going to, uh, where it's the like easiest path of least resistance, which is what flow's all about. In fact, the way he even funded it was by saying, well, what's the easiest way for me to actually even be able to like get the money to fund this thing and he found that here in Bali they have these little uh, bead uh, uh, or um, uh, seashell uh, uh, belts that he could sell all the way back in America so he actually got 600 of those and then with him and his wife they took those back to America they sold them and with the money they made from those seashells seashells like right from this beach here seashells would actually then became belts which he sold he had the money then to be able to launch GoPro. And today GoPro is worth over $9 billion uh, and he himself is a multi-billionaire. That's all it takes. Having a vision, having the steps along the way, having a little bit of luck with it as well, but most importantly having a community to support you. So it's not a matter of whether you're going to get to the success you're looking for, it's just a matter of when. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you add your comments. This is episode two. And in episode three, we're actually gonna start on that journey, just like Nick did, just like I have, just like many others have, to say once you actually know where you are and where you want to go, then it's a matter of taking it one step at a time. And with that said, I'll now leave you with this little view of Bali. Say thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep shining brightly.